to see something funny? Want to see how crazy we are as haunters? Check this out. So here's my daily car, right? So, yep, I do drive a Beetle Sport. So what? I'm manly. All right, but check this out. Um, I just figured out something new. I figured out that this thing can be transformed into, yes, that is wood, a truck. So check it out. If you clear up enough space, look at that. Look at all that wood. Yes, those are full 2x4s, uncut. And this is the wood that I'm going to be using for my next project. So, um, yeah, it's a 8th inch thick uh, MDF board. And it's going to be used to cover the outside of, well, what I'm about to show you guys. I'll show you the drawing, and then I will start building it. So I just showed you guys the wood I got that I was able to fit into my bug. Um, and this is what I'm going to be making. So I showed you guys what I did last year with the trick-or-treat holes. And I didn't really, you know, it was cool, but I wanted to do something cooler this year. So um, what I've done before is I've done a Pepper's Ghost effect up in my windows. And I decided to, this year, make a candy machine that will distribute the candy the kids get. So it's going to go at the top of my porch. And this is what it's going to look like. So, um... That little black thing right there is going to be where the candy comes out. I'm going to have a tube that runs through the back of it and dumps the candy in there that's going to run back behind a curtain where the people will be at. So we'll, we'll drop the candy down as they come in and they'll be able to reach in and grab the candy. So it should be pretty cool. Um, the little head in there is going to be clown or something. I have some DVDs of some heads that are like talking and scary. Um, but I'm going to use the Pepper's Ghost there. And um, I'll show you how I do that. But question I have for you is this is going to be just a, a nice, you know, probably a six foot tall candy machine structure um, like you would see at a carnival or, or something. Um, and remember those yellow lights I showed you? Those are what's going to be where the red and yellow dots are all around. So I'm going to have those be lit up. But what I want to know is should I do the lights like that? Or should I go just around the window frame? Or should I go around the whole thing? Or, I don't know. I don't know how to do the lights. Um, I'm thinking that's too boring right there. I think it needs to be something else. So leave some comments and let me know what you think I should do with the lights or how I should design them. Um, I am going to leave it in this coffin type shape. I do like that. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to configure the lights. So, um, this right here, the window is going to be plexiglass, and for those of you who haven't done a um, Pepper's Ghost effect, it's going to look like this. So this is a side view of what the inside looks like. So you see down there you have a TV, and that will be running my DVD of the talking heads. Um, you do a piece of plexiglass at a 45 degree angle, um, and you make sure you have it above the other window. So the red lines are the, uh, show where the plexiglass will be. Um, you make sure you have it above so that way you can't see that there's a piece of glass there. You do it at a 45, it'll be hinged on another piece of wood, and then the TV image basically shoots um, up to the glass, and where that little green line is, is that's where the head will, that's where the image will reflect. Um, and it'll just look like a floating head in your window. Um, you won't be able to see the plexiglass because it'll all be back behind. Um, there will be a black background against the back of the, uh, against the back of the wood there. So you'll just see a floating head and the kids won't know how it gets there and you'll have a bunch of adults wondering how you did it. So you can see the candy um, uh, will come out right there at that little black thing. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, it's just a matter of building the structure. So the question I have is what do you think I should do with the lights? Let me know what I should do with the lights because um, I'm kind of lost there. So give me some good ideas guys. I know I can depend on you. Just to kind of show you again, um, these are the, uh, the bug lights I got. So these are the light bulbs that will be being used um, in the candy machine there. So they're pretty cool. They're yellow. Um, also, can I spray paint these? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find different color bulbs. Um, I didn't have any luck today. But if so, they're pretty low wattage. Do you think I could spray paint these and go two colors? Maybe red and yellow or red and purple or I don't know. What do you think, guys? Can I can I paint these? Um, but these are the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to go grab another pack so I can have 20. Um, I think I only have, what, 9 on the image right there, and this comes with a pack of 10. So I'm going to go get another pack so I can have plenty of light. Um, 
So let me know what you guys think, okay? Uh, quantities of 10 or 20 lights around this bad boy. Okay, so it's time for a DVD review. A um, couple people emailed me about this um, DVD that I got. It's uh, how to how to haunt your house. Found it on eBay. Um, it's okay. It's not too bad. It gives some um, gives some pretty good tips. Um, pretty simple stuff to do. Pretty you know standard haunt items and and tricks that we do. So uh, it was like five bucks on eBay. I think it came out to like eight dollars total with uh, shipping. So go ahead, and check it out if you want. Um, a lot of the stuff in it is stuff that most of us um, hunters probably already do, but uh, it was entertaining. So it's time for the Columbia Manor Haunt of the Day. So um, I found this video and I enjoyed it. It was 11 minutes long, so I really enjoyed um, the thoroughness they did when they uh, videoed this and put everything together. So um, this is the Hexwood Hills Halloween Yard Haunt uh, from 2010. Um, the uh, YouTube uploader is Caligula? Caligula? I don't know. I butchered that, but sorry about it. So look uh, look below in the comments, and you will see the link to the uh, haunt of the day. It's the Hexwood Hills Halloween Yard Hunt, 2010. So enjoy, and until tomorrow, happy haunting, guys. Oh,